Oh, just in time. Oh, you're up mighty early. Ah. Mm. How can I sleep when I'm smelling my mom's coffee brewing like that? Well, what was your excuse for 2 o'clock this morning? Well, how'd you know I was awake? Well, I had a little trouble sleeping myself. I'm sure Carla did, too. Jane, why don't you call her? Mom, I don't think that would be a good idea. Oh, you're just as stunned as when Carla first returned to King's. Mom, please don't start meddling now. This is between Carla and me. Yes, but Jane, you should call her. At least let her know where you are. No. Jane. Mom, oh. I'm not going to call her. Not now. Just when do you plan to call her? I don't know. But you are going to call I don't know what I'm going to do, Mom, but right now I'd like to look at the paper, if you don't mind. Jane, don't shut me out to you. Mom, I'm not shutting you out or anyone else. I just don't want to talk about it. That's the problem right there. Why don't you ever see things my way? I've talked to Carla, and she's the one that doesn't want to listen. That's why you're here, and she's home waiting for you. I'm here because I'm tired of her badgering me all the time. Don't run away from your problem. Mama, look, I am not running away from anything. Carl and I just disagree on some things, and it's going to take us time to cool off. That's all. <laughs> things are cool enough between you two already. Now, you said you wouldn't go to marriage council, but, Gene, you've got to talk to Carl if you two are ever going to make up. Mama, talking, I... T we can't talk without arguing for crying out loud. It just... You know, she's always exaggerating this situation. Oh, does she? Yes, she does. She's always questioning my feelings and my motives behind what I do or I don't do, and I feel like I'm being rated on a of 1 to 10. You try living like that. Are you sure you're not exaggerating? Mom, I love Carla, and she knows that. Well, what more does she want? Well, how should I know if you, if you don't listen, honey? I mean, really listen. Walking out all the time doesn't accomplish a thing. No, oh, maybe she'll take the hint back off. Oh, now, just how far do you want her to back off? Out of your life altogether? Jean, didn't you learn anything from those two years of separation? Did you and Carla get back together just to lose each other again? I can't answer that. Well, you better think about it. Talking is a whole lot less painful than when you don't. Now, what do you think is going to happen to Jimmy? What's all this going to do to oh, him? Oh, we don't argue in front of the Jimmy. Oh, but I'm sure he's wondering where his father is this morning. Yeah, and his mom is probably telling him something. <laughs> that little boy has suffered enough. Already because of his mother and father can't get together. He loves you, Jimmy. Mom, Jimmy is, he's big enough and... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I really, I didn't mean to interrupt. That's okay, I was just leaving. Oh, not without a good breakfast, Jean. Hey, I'll just have some coffee. Mom, I have, have to go. Oh, Jean, there's plenty of time. You Please, I'm go. hungry, Mom. Thanks, anyway. Wait a minute, I hope he's not leaving because of me or anything. No, that's all right, Jean. Walking out on unfinished conversations has become a habit of Jean's lately. if you care about me, you won't wait even a minute. Now, I can't wait two months to get married. Maybe Harold's mistaken. We'll call him. He's not at his office yet. We'll call him at home. Hello, Harold. It's Harold. Listen, I need to uh, talk to you immediately about the delay in my divorce. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll be working here all day. Bye. He'll be here around four. Well, you should have insisted he came right now. Nancy, he had to appear in court. Now, don't worry. I'll take care of everything. If there is a delay, I can assure you it won't be longer than two months. Charles, don't seem very upset about this thing. I think you're probably glad it's happened. That is nonsense. I want to marry you very much, and you know it. Well, Charles, you should get Harold to pull some strings or something. Now, have you had your breakfast? No, I haven't seen Tad since he brought me well, downstairs. I think he went jogging. And speaking of him, are you still dissatisfied with him? Because if you are, I'll give him his notice today. 
No, I, I've changed my mind. He can stay. You have? But I thought you said he went beyond the bounds of propriety. Well, no, I, I, I thought so at first, but um, I've just been going through so much, Charles. So. We all have. Well, you know, when there's a man who's massaging your legs every day, it's, it's easy to misinterpret things. Well, I am very glad to hear that. He's really a very good therapist. I just mistook his intentions, that's all. I still don't like it, Lori. Honey, it's not as if I wanted to work another two weeks. Mr. Kimball was in a bind. What else could I say? No. You should have been firm. That's easy for you to say. But I know if you would have been in the same position with someone pleading for your help, you would have turned him down. Well, let's just say um, I would have tried a little harder. Ben, I tried. But they can't get enough teacher on such short notice. There's only two weeks left of class. Well, by saying no, you would have forced them to find a new one. Or cancel the class. Now, that's not a bad idea. That wouldn't be fair to the kids, Ann. Even with everything that's going on, they've been making progress. And they've been responding to me as a teacher, especially Lila. Look, Lila. I'm very glad the kids are doing so well. But my concern is for you. I just don't feel right about your teaching there anymore. There's only two weeks left, 10 working days. Nothing's going to happen in two weeks. Mm. Well, look what's happened the last two weeks. It'll pass in no time. Honey, we've got to believe for the best. Well, I better get to work. Give me a kiss. What have you got planned for today? Marianne and I are playing tennis. Have a good time. We will. Ben? Mm. Thanks for being so understanding. I'm not. Do you have anything you want me to take to the cleaners? Can't say as I do, but thank you for asking. Why don't you look pretty today? Oh, really? Thank you. You know, this is old, but I haven't worn it in a while. You sure you can't stay for a little lunch and I'll be ready in a half an hour? No, no, no. It smells delicious, but I really have several errands to run before work, so yeah, I'll just grab something, <laughs> a sandwich or something. I've got a nice little special dinner planned. Oh, great. Oh, Carla, come on. Miriam. Mama. Carla, what's wrong? Oh, is it that noticeable? Oh, well, you're shaking. I'm still upset about Jean. I wish there's something I could do to help. But the only thing you can do is pray. Okay, I will. I really will. Listen, I was just on my way out. Well, Carla, have a seat. I'll see you this afternoon, Mary. Okay, bye. Jean come home last night, and I haven't heard from him. Oh? Well, I waited up, hoping he'd call. I don't know. How he could do a thing like this. Carla Jean slept there last night. Here? Well, they came by after you left. I, I don't know how long he intends to stay. Well, where is Al? Well, he went to the office kind of early. He didn't sleep well. Well, that makes two of us. Three. I talked to him before he left. And, Carla, I think I just may have gotten through to him a little. Then why hasn't he called me by now? Well, I was hoping he had. I asked him to. Oh, he probably won't. Oh, Carla. Gene's confused. He just doesn't know what's happening inside of him right now. Well, then why didn't you call me? Carla, I wanted to, but that's Gene's place, not mine. Then where it's sick. Oh, well, I knew you'd call or come by. But I didn't want to take a chance on driving Gene further away from the both of us. Well, evidently, he wants to be as far from me as possible. Carla, Gene loves you. But right now, he just can't handle your relationship. And he's taken the easy way out by avoiding it. I've tried everything that I know of to make him face what's destroying our marriage. I just wish he would go for professional help. Well, maybe you're trying too hard, Carla. Why don't you forget about the counselor right now? Talking with Gene yourself is the thing you need right now. But he won't listen. Gene's solution to all of our problems is ignore them and they'll go away, but they won't, Mama. He's harboring hurts and resentments against me that he can't deal with. And I can't get through to him. Honey, you will in time. And now he's even more distant than ever. I just don't know how much more this marriage can take.
went to the Greenbrier. Oh, that's nice. Used to be one of my favorites. I was like a schoolgirl going on like this. No, no, not at all. It's just that I've never met anyone like Gil before. Have you dated much? I've had my share. When I met Gil, I was engaged to a guy named Clark. What happened? Well, I don't want to hurt Clark, but when comparing the two of them, there was no contest. Oh, so how long have you been dating this Gil? Uh, on and off for about five weeks. I'll admit mostly off until last night. But boy, does he have a way of making up for lost time. I think I'll have to try the Greenbrier again soon. Of course, now that I'm working for a living, I have to count my little pennies. But... You know, last night was one of those magical occasions that I'll never forget. Candlelight dinner, early morning breakfast. My, I guess you did make quite a night of it. Where did he take you for breakfast? Uh, we cooked at my place, omelets. Oh, I see. Sounds serious. I hope so. Hey, Vicky. Hi. Hi, Hello, Hi, Peter. Hi. I thought Gil was going to pick up the permits. I don't know who's going to pick them up. It's not my job anymore. Did you get a promotion? Promoted right out of the company. I no longer work for a Prescott Development, as of yesterday. You were fired? Fired? Fire the best guy on the job? No way. I quit. Why? Well, they wanted to make me vice president. So oh. I told them I didn't want the headaches. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> okay, the boring truth. I wanted to quit before I go to Kingsley College. Well, we'll, we'll miss you around here. I'm gonna miss you all too, but I can drop by once in a while to say hi. I wonder why Gil didn't tell me last night that you'd quit. Where'd you see him? We had a date. I thought you were through with him. He changed my mind. We had a great time. Oh, well, happy for you. <laughs> How could anyone be mad at Gil? Peter, what do you plan on majoring in at Kingsley? Uh, communications. Just like your father. Yeah, huh? I guess so. At least I'll start off in that direction. Good. I think you'll be very good there. Hey, Peter. Surprised seeing you here. I was just in the neighborhood. Thought I'd say hi. Mm. Sure you uh, won't change your mind and come back to work? Oh, college is going to keep me plenty uh, busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I plan on keeping kind of busy, too. Uh, actually, that's the reason why I came in. I'll get the permits. Uh, no need to rush. You, you can uh, wait on this uh, pretty girl. Oh, no, I, I work here. Gil, this is Miriam Mason, my part-time assistant. Miriam, this is Gil Prescott. Oh, oh, yes, yes, it is nice to meet you, Gil. <laughs> well, my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Uh, and here you are. Ah, oh, thank you. You're this... welcome. Uh, do anything special tonight? Not that I know of. Well, you are now. Hmm? How about a little uh, dinner, dancing at the castaway bar tonight? I'd love to. Pick me up at seven. I'll be there. Okay. And uh, you stay in touch. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And that was um, Miriam. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. That's a real pretty name. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Two nights in a row. I can't believe it. Is Miriam okay? Oh, yes. Yeah. She's just concerned about her father's plans to marry, marry a Nancy, but uh, other than that, she's all right. So the wedding is still on. Nancy uh, didn't tell you? Haven't talked to her lately. Oh, I've often heard it, and I've had occasion to preach it, and I do believe it. What's that? That the hardest place to be a Christian is in one's house and with one's skin. Don't tell me you've got a sister like Nancy. Oh, a son and a daughter-in-law like Carla and Jean. Well, I hope it's not the confusion over Mother's house. No, it's not the house. But if Carl and Jean don't settle up their differences, they won't even need it. It must be serious. Oh, I hate to go into detail, but I'm awfully concerned, Terry. They had an argument last night, and Jean wound up staying here. Well, no wonder you're upset. The fact that they can't talk out their problem seems to be more serious than the problem itself. Every time they try, it just seems to lead to an argument. Is it pride? Oh, and then some. Guilt, blame, non-forgiveness. All the things the devil seems to want to torment God's children with. If they're coming to you for counsel, then I'm sure everything's going to be fine. Oh, I don't know. Not listening to each other is one of the things that separated them two years ago. And it's one of the things that might do it again. Oh, I see what you mean. 
Carla came by earlier, and I suggested that she go by Jean's office. To make the first move? Well, somebody's got to do it. Jean's got all this pride. Do you think Carla will do it? Oh, I surely hope she will. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Commissioner approves the repairs for Garfield Boulevard. Oh, I know you're pleased. Well, I guess I did have a little to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> Such humility. <Wow. laughs> Carla. Junior your office said you'd probably be here. Uh, I'm, I'm busy right now, Carla. I need to talk to you. Not during business hours. Uh, maybe a little later, okay? You can wait if you're coming home tonight. I'll call you, okay? I'll wait here until you're finished. Later, Carla, please. I'm not going to leave until we talk. Listen, Jean, why don't you use the office and Mary and I can take our break now. Good idea. And uh, we'll go over the reports when I, when I get out. Oh, you really don't have to leave, ladies. Oh, we don't mind. Anytime, Jean. Who do you think you are embarrassing me in front of my co-workers? They seem to understand. Look, what goes down between you and me is no one else's business. Is that clear? And do you enjoy humiliating me every time, Carla? Is that it? I never tried to humiliate you, Jean. Is that why you think I came here? You tell me. I came here to try to salvage our marriage. This is not the time and the place for that, okay? It never is. Not here. Not at home. Carla, come on. I'd like to be alone for a while. You... Give me some time to myself. You had two years to be alone, That's Jean. That's right. I've been alone, and you never have been. Is that it? I admitted my relationship with other men because we needed to be honest with each other. Honesty is supposed to enrich a relationship, Gene, not destroy Carla, it. Please, oh, no, come no, on. no. We've got to, we've got to deal with this. Your bitterness, your, your unforgiveness. Not now. Then when? Is it going to take another two years before we can openly discuss this? Before you can trust me enough to let yourself be vulnerable? all to ourselves. Play here often? They don't call me Chris Everett Martin for nothing. So how is the job going? Well, I've ruined my chances of getting another teaching position. Did Mr. Kimball say that? He didn't have to. Marianne, I failed him. I couldn't handle my first teaching job, so why trust me with another one? Because you're a good teacher. I'm a quitter. You agree to finish the last two weeks out? Yeah, only because he couldn't find another replacement. <laughs> I think you're overreacting, Lori. Try looking on the bright side of things. The bright side? Mary Ann, in the past two weeks, I've been mugged in broad daylight and harassed by a nut who likes to play games with, with blouses and shoes and, and telephones and door locks. And Ben's upset because I'm still working and... Lori, okay, I said the bright side. You weren't hurt, the police found your car, and you're going to play tennis with a good friend who is going to beat the socks off of you. We'll see about that. <laughs> I'm glad you could make it this afternoon. Yeah, me too. That's one of the benefits of being the boss's daughter. You get off whenever you want. Well, almost. Hmm. Well, at least you have a job to return to. Hey, take your frustrations out in the game, not me, okay? Okay. I can't believe last night. <laughs> Talk about a small world. I know. You and Ben, me and Russ, and Gil and his date, all in the same restaurant. <laughs> Look, no, it's none of my business, but why did Ben tell Gil? It looked serious. I'd rather not talk about it. Or Gil. <laughs> well, whatever it was, I'm sure he deserved it. Did you know that Gil tried to pick a fight with Russ after you left? Why? I don't know. He's taking it upon himself to protect his little sister from the big bad wolf. I wish he'd just leave us alone. I think Russ is the cutest, nice guy I know. Marianne, it really takes some time to get to know someone. Yeah, I know, but, um... I feel I'm falling in love with him. Mary Ann. Look, Lori, I don't want any lectures. I'm a big girl, and I've got my eyes wide open. Warm-ups? Sure.
All you needed was a little inspiration. But tip all is Gil. I'm even a failure at tennis. Hey, give credit where it's due. I'm just better than you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. My serve. Yeah.